So, and we have this little machine, you push the thermometer on the thing and then you um, clean the top with alcohol we've already done and you push the air and it follows directions. You click the home button, put it on her forehead. Okay. And wait for it to beat. Her temp is 36.4. Okay. We know she doesn't have a fever, so it's pretty accurate. Ninety-eight point five. So you just set it on her forehead, and you hold this button till it beats. Thirty-six four. And what did we say it was? She was thirty-six eight. This is Kim Litweiler. She's one of our nurse practitioners, and she's going to be a subject matter expert here on our new. What's the name of it? Well, you check me, pro doctor. And okay. All right, so why don't we why don't we do kind of an unboxing of this? I mean, we've opened it up; we we know what's in there, but why don't you talk about the different elements on this? And and basically, the essence of what we're going to do today is we're going to compare this little gadget with the hospital equipment and see how well they line up. Okay, so uh, introduce our patient. This is Bailey. She's a med student, second year. Okay. And she has graciously volunteered to be my guinea pig. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Bailey. Of course. And she's, this is Noelle. She's a med student, an AI. She's an acting intern. She wants to go into emergency medicine. So this is the monitor and it has it on and it has a touch screen when it comes on. Okay. And it has all the heart monitor, EKG, pulse ox. Um, now that's Blood a little just heavy tent. looking, but we've taken it all out. We're playing with it the other day. These are all the straps if you want to wear it. And then you have your pulse socks with your leads. There's also a pulse socks on the machine itself. Okay. And there's leads on the machine, the bar and the button, the circle. Okay, so you can both do it by actually touching the machine. You can get your EKG or your pulse oximetry. So we have a um, Bluetooth blood pressure, and we just took her blood pressure a few minutes ago. And what is it up there? 112 over 76. All right. So the Bluetooth blood pressure is button on here to turn it on. Okay. And then you can put it on the patient's arm. It has directions where the artery goes. Okay. So then on the machine, on the little handheld, you push blood pressure and you put, um, you can put your name in and say that we're going to do guest and it's searching for the Bluetooth and this, so the only one that shows up is connected. I guess you can put multiple blood pressures on there, machines. And then once you get it connected, you hit start and then you follow the directions and you pump till 210 is where it stops. One fifteen over seventy nine. In contrast to one twelve over seventy six. Very close. Very close. What else do we do all of them? Okay. What's next? Um, so pulse oximetry. Pulse is on the machine. It's ninety nine. Ninety nine up there. So let's. So on this machine, we have so, two ways to do it. We can put the finger here, which we're going to do that first. So. Um, so you're going to put your finger in here. Until it reads. And you don't want to press too hard. Yeah, you just want to set it in there. And it reads until that black line, and then it gives you a summary until the black line goes all the way across the screen. And her set is 98. And what's the perfusion index? Um, 0. 0.7. 0. 0.7, okay. All right. Okay, and then the other way you can do it is with the leads. So they, so they plug into the side here. 
and then um, you just simply have the patient put their finger in or your own use in the here and there's a fingernail shows you which way your finger goes okay and then you push the sat monitor again okay Good waveform. And she's 99 on the machine and 99 on the 98. And uh, perfusion, in England, perfusion index is 0 0.5. Heart rate 71. And it's a continuous running one. So, okay. And the next thing is you can do the EKG. We'll do it with the leads first because we have the wires in already. So she's going to get some more stickers. Just what she wants. Mm -hmm. Noel, you're okay with being on YouTube? Oh, yes. Okay. okay. All right. Maybe a Dr. Mellick show. All right. So I guess it's better to snap them first on this one because yeah. they are pretty hard to snap. Okay. Um, you're patient. I appreciate it. Okay. So. so you hook the leads up to the person and it tells you right and left. Red is right, green is left. Um, then you come hit the EKG. And you hit lead two because we have the lead, we're using the electrodes and it'll start picking it up. Her heart rate 65 on our machine. 66. 66. 65. So it's exactly the same. Okay, so what's interesting here, it gives you your QTC, and she's got a long QTC. It's on 454. QRS is 81 milliseconds. All right, good. So, so I'm going to disconnect right. these leads. Yeah, and that's. We're going to do the EKG the other way. Okay. So you're going to put a hand here on this side, and then you're going to hold with a thumb and your finger back on the square. So just kind of hold it. And then when she put it on the patient's hand, you push the EKG and you push the lead one. And you follow the directions. She's 76 right now, so it's pretty accurate. So what's it on here? It's 73. Yeah, so it's exact, almost 72, 73. Okay, here you go. So the QTC is 377 this time around. So, so, so the uh, parameters changed, the measurements changed a little bit. Not sure why that happened. But nevertheless, the heart rate is exactly, was the, same. exactly the same. And it's still reading a normal EKG. Normal EKG, correct. Okay. I think we got it all. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank, Thank you. For being my yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna let you pick your own stickers off. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just gonna take. Are the, you gonna get her a popsicle? You want a popsicle or a sticker? <laughs> <laughs>